Yo, what is going on guys? It is Arts here and welcome back to another video. Today we're back on Zeros and today I have a massive giveaway for you guys to celebrate the launch of this new series. Quickly before I today's video, let's go over the giveaway. First comment with the first unedited IGN comment. You've won yourselves a free mystery box worth about 7 or 7 or 8 mil. And then for the main prize, there's just going to be two lucky winners. The first place winner being the reindeer hat. So in the next video, the first comment or the first comment to pop up on the screen basically will win the reindeer hat. And then the second person who pops up will get the arcane prayer scroll. Both of these are about 100 mil each. So this is like a 200 mil giveaway overall and you have double the chance of winning since there's two winners. So make sure you guys do enter this. If you guys want to, all you have to do is leave a like on the video, comment your Inga name down below, and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. That's all you guys have to do to enter this massive giveaway. Anyways, I hope you guys do enjoy today's episode. It is quite long uh, compared to like most episodes from now on, just because it was the first weekend. I basically just grabbed the whole weekend of clips of me starting this account and put it into this video. So I hope you guys do enjoy. Let me know if you guys want to see more. I've been actually quite enjoying it, even though bonus XP is turned off now, I'm still playing it. So... I'm enjoying it a lot, so yeah. I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Yo, okay, so this is my first clip on the account officially, but um, yeah, I just been AFKing fishing basically. Bonus XP is just turned on. I they've finally added like something towards you know vote book or, or like voting, so like you can actually get bonus XP books, which is gonna be really huge for my account. So yeah, we're gonna get definitely be voting every every 12 hours that I can to get these stacked up, so maxing won't be as painful. Very glad I did that, that also motivates me to play this account even more. So yeah, it is currently 1.5x bonus XP right now, so it's 50% extra. So we're definitely going to be grinding the hell out of this account. I'm probably going to do a bunch of quests soon, and then do tiers at Guthix and all that good stuff. But yeah, figured I'd update you guys, let you guys know. We are currently doing an EIM, mainly because of the bonus XP. And since they added this for voting, I might have to just start playing even more, because that's like... Basically 30 minutes every 30 minutes of bonus XP every single 12 hours So that's like an hour of bonus XP skilling off double XP like bonus days or whatever uh, Which doesn't happen often. So this is a very good um, Update that they finally added very th very very happy about that I was wondering when they were gonna uh, you know buff voting because previously it was not the best <laughs> So yeah, very happy about that just save King some fishing right now while I look through the update post and then I'm probably gonna start doing some quests soon because I think that's the best thing to do right now. Alright guys, so a little update here. We're going to start thieving and luckily for us, we can just straight ahead go to the E-Zone stall and get loads of extra XP. Actually, probably not even XP. Eh, it might be good to XP, I don't know. But and most importantly, we get a lot of cash from this E-Zone stall. So I'm going to AFK, just click this on the side while I host. That's bas that's literally what I'm doing, just, just hosting on the side. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just going to get a bunch of coins, and then we're going to switch it up and do Barbarian Fishing here. There is a spot in the E-Zone, uh, you can't see it, but that way we can train our Agility and our Strength XP for those early levels. It'll be very nice. Uh, got that idea from someone, I, I honestly didn't even think about that. That's going to be very useful, so... Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and just keep thieving and we're going to eventually, you know, go and do some barbarian fishing for those levels and I'll update then. We're currently 67 fishing, which is very nice, you know. It's going up very fast with this bonus XP. I love it. Oh man, I, I'm so happy that they did a, a bonus XP weekend. It actually motivates me to play this account. <clears throat> Alright guys, so we just did a bunch of thieving. We're currently at 48, but we do have a mill cash, which I think think should be enough to get a bunch of feathers like they're really cheap I think so yeah the plan is to do that and then level up our agility and strength through fishing as well even though we won't get the cooking levels it'll still be good for like early slayer and whatnot let's see how much are they oh wait are they even here yeah six okay well we'll just buy 10k like we we shouldn't have we shouldn't need more than that that should be plenty for a while holy crap like 10 minutes later I finally catch my first bird how much xp Oh, five hunter, let's go! We need 34 guys, and I think, in order to uh, do the mulch lake or whatever. And then we need to fish there for a while, get some hunter XP, which will be good. And then obviously we need the pearls in order to get the... Oh my god, that was so fast. Maybe this is a spot right here. And then we can eventually get the fishing rod in order to actually barbarian fish. So, eight hunter, let's go! Alright guys, finally a huge milestone, believe it or not, this took forever to get. 34 hunter, these early hunting levels are so bad, I'd highly recommend you guys put, um, what's it called, your Tears of Guthix into Hunter. 
All right, let's go finally do some fly fishing at Lake Mulch or whatever the hell it's called. So, yeah, thank God for that, dude. Oh my God. This, that was just awful, honestly. Oh my God, guys, we finally got the uh, 150 we needed. We can finally leave this place. Trade him. Here it is, 150 pearls, let's go. We can now fish in E-Zone and AFK even more. Like this is AIDS. I mean, we got to uh, 61 hunter. 71 fishing currently and also 45 cooking so I mean it's not bad we can just straight up cook our lobsters now We don't even have to touch these stupid shrimps and anchovies Alright guys change of plans. I actually need agility levels. I think it's 15 as like the lowest requirement But I'm probably just gonna go higher than that Because I'm gonna get trash XP probably if I don't I can do up to this which is 45 That's the highest so 45 agility might be the goal right now Alright guys, we're about to hit 45 agility, there we go, we can now go and start working on our fishing finally, which will give us a lot of levels in agility and um, hunter, or not hunter, um, crap, uh, strength as well, which will be very useful for when we actually start training Slayer, because combat is very, very slow, so let's make sure this actually works. Bruh, I gotta I got figure out why this isn't working. Alright guys, so I actually figured it out. We actually just needed 15 strength. Um, that's kind of unfortunate because it puts our HP up and I need low HP for Winter Todd, but 14 should be okay, I hope so. Yeah, we're just going to sit here and AFK fish this for a while and gain 600 per. It's actually not that bad. But the great thing about getting this rod over the others is I can just do this. Drop, and then colon colon empty. Easy. Easy peasy. Alright guys, we're about to finish one of our quests, I'm just rushing it real quick because we have 20 minutes until uh, Tears of Gothics resets and we need a quest in order to complete or do it, so got the bonus XP book obviously, a crystal key, some prayer XP which just puts us to 31 which is actually a really good head start, and we got the quest point obviously, so let's go do Tears of the Gothics and see what it goes into and how high of a level we get I guess, and then we'll have another Tears of Gothics in like 20 minutes. Alright guys, what XP do we get and how much? Good luck! 31k freaking woodcutting XP, oh my god. Hey, at least it gets over the, or er, gets rid of the early levels, but we're definitely gonna do more quests uh, before we do Tears of Gothics tomorrow, or later today I guess, so. Yeah, that, that's actually a good boost though, you know, we get, get to skip straight to like Willow Logs or whatever. Now this should be quest complete, right? There we go. Gotta actually pay attention to dialogue on here, sad. Can't you skip through? 3,000 base crafting XP. These XP books are really good though. I put us to 39 crafting from basically level one just off the bat, it's actually pretty nice. All right, there should be quest complete. Give me some small levels. There we go. What's that put us at? 50 cooking, not bad. All right, this should be quest complete. How much XP are we going to get though? Ooh. That put us instantly to 38 mining and 32 smithing on an EIM. That is huge. Not bad. Oh shoot, I missed it. Okay, so we just got some crafting XP. Obviously the books add up. But that put us to 41 crafting. Not too bad. And I guess we can do rune mysteries now. Well, um... We're, we're trapped, man. We're in jail. <laughs> what the? <laughs> step, 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 bro, I'm stuck. I see. The <laughs> oh, there we go. Quest complete. Zero XP, but we do get the quest point. Ten points. No way. We're almost done. All right. Ernest the chicken completed. That got us from one to thirty-two construction. Not bad. Free levels. Is this quest complete already? Oh, uh, drink. Oh, okay. What did I get there? Magic XP? Brings us to 22, 22 off the rip. Two hours and 15 minutes later, we got the yellow bead. All right, let's see. What do we get? Oh, some magic XP. 32 magic. Alrighty, we only have a few quests left, but I think we can I mean, we probably can do them as long as our XP is locked. I think Theoretically, we shouldn't gain any health XP since it's locked, right? Yo quest complete. All right 
It didn't give me the hit points XP, thank god. Alright, we're good. We're in the clear, boys. The question is, how much XP are we getting and in what skill are we getting it in? How much XP? Come on, baby. Be something decent. Oh, we're done. We're out of here. Wait, it didn't even kick me out yet. Ah, uh, there we go. What's it gonna be? Fletching. 42 Fletching. Hmm. I guess that's okay. Just means I don't have to cut the regular logs anymore to get that up. Alrighty. Alright guys, we just went ahead and got ourselves 51 fire making and 51 wood cutting. So now we have the requirements to go ahead and do the winter tods. So should be fun and hopefully we don't die there. That would be the most embarrassing death ever. <laughs> At Winter Todd, yikes, yeah. But we do have the requirements now, I believe, so we can do it. So let's go ahead and just grind this out. I don't know how long it's going to take, but we need to do it while we have low HP. So got to do it while it's bonus XP. All right, so we just completed our first ever Winter Todd. We have the supply crate. We're going to go ahead and open it and see what we get. I'm going to open them now instead of waiting until I get better levels because I want the Pyromancer pieces to get better XP. So, ooh. Yeah, see, that is really bad, but I mean, hey, at least we'll get early level, like, supplies, I guess, which shouldn't be too shabby, but yeah, just gonna camp out some Winter Todd. Alright, I'm not gonna record every crate, but crate number two, that was a pretty long kill, actually, that took a while. Please? Ooh, meh. Alright, let's see how much XP we get today and in what skill. It's about to run out, the timer. Good luck us, hopefully we get something decent. I think it's uh, runecrafting, farming, or hunter that, or not, runecrafting, farming, or herb lore that I can possibly get the XP in. Well, let's see. Hopefully it's a good amount. We got 172, which seems like a lot, but 51k herb lore XP. That puts us straight to 43. That is actually so good. Wait, we can go straight to pr prayer potions, nice. Now we just gotta wait till we can actually farm it, so. Tomorrow we'll probably just put our Tuesday Gothics into farming because CBA with the early levels of those. Alright, let's go ahead, get our first ever haul of freaking Motherload Mine. And since I I'm going to be grinding out mining a bit, I do want a freaking Rune Pickaxe. And the only way to get that is through Elites and Medi or Hard Clues. So we're going to have to bust open these three hards and pray that we get a Rune Pickaxe. That would be so nice. Good luck us. Oh, nothing on the first one. Second one, please. Oh, no. We got bracers. That's interesting. Please. No, we got a rune axe, though, I guess. That's pretty cool. <laughs> God dang it. Well, I'm sure we'll get some more hard clues soon, so uh, I guess we'll take it regardless. That's okay. All right, so we just transferred loads of scrolls from our main account. We have a total of $750 here. We're gonna claim it all and get ourselves legendary script. We'll get access to that top floor, which is enough for me to donate $1,000. Like, I didn't actually donate $1,000, but obviously I'm claiming $1,000 in scrolls, so it's pretty ridiculous, but we're gonna want it anyways, and eventually maybe potentially get Uber on this account, who knows. All right, the moment of truth, here we go. Grabbing ourselves legendary, boom. Legendary donator achieved. Unfortunately, there is no announcement over Yell, but we can actually go up here and start mining over here with the big boys now, PogChamp. Almost hit the 200 tier mark. Let's see how much XP and in what we get it through. 58,000 Slayer XP. Okay, that's probably the one skill I wouldn't want it to go through, but it's okay. I'm just gonna get Tears of Gethics into these skills eventually anyways, because it is the last day for double XP. Therefore, it, we're not going to touch those skills for all. I do, however, have some clue scrolls we can use. I think we have an elite, which I'm going to use now. And if we have, yeah, we have one hard and one elite. We're definitely going to use those because we want to get that rune pick. All right, let's go ahead and open these, see what we get. Starting with the hard, hopefully we get a rune pickaxe. That's all we want. Oh my god, another rune axe. Are you kidding me? Oh, that is unfortunate. And elite. Ugh. Wait, we got a Dragonstone Amulet. Wait, that could actually be a really good loot. I don't know, though. Because all we have to do is get the Mage level to enchant it. We have a Glory, so... Eh. It's probably not the best, but whatever. I guess we'll take it. <laughs> all 
All right, so let's go ahead and buy our first ever prospector piece. We saved up for the most expensive one just to get it over with. I think it's this one, 60. And now it's just gonna be cheaper as we go down. So yeah, oh wait, expert mining gloves. What the hell does that do? I've never even heard of this, what the, 100, but whatever. That should increase our XP per hour. And we also have ourselves a hard clue, which will hopefully give us the rune pickaxe. Let's go. I mean, the coif is good, like we're getting God DI'd, which is amazing, but we don't have any chaps or tops yet, but that's okay, we'll take those any day of the week. Oh well, at least we got something useful. I mean, the, the rune pick is what we're looking for. We're 74 mining right now without a rune pickaxe, <laughs> but it's okay. I mean, we have one more attempt if we can get another harder elite today. Like, we have one more clue auto-complete, so hopefully we get one sooner than later. All right, let's go. Come on, elite, please. This is the last one we could do today. Come on, rune pick. Uh, hey, 30? Wait, isn't that rare? I think on old school getting potions are rare, but... Oh, well, I mean, that's useful, actually. I'll take it. I'm happy with that.